We got casually okay, explained it. here for some angry coaching. We've got some viewers who fancy themselves competent players, and we're here to show them why that's very much untrue. That's exactly why we're here. In, in their they defense, they didn't intended. actually say that. I just put words in their mouth. But I'll I'm let sure their they play. Would agree. I'll let their play speak for themselves. All right. So first. All right, well, up, so far, I just want to say we have a good luck, have fun, smiley face. That's pretty mannered. First of all, I think that's great. That's a good play. You know, you know what I don't like is when people try to start a conversation though. After that, they're like, "Good luck, have fun. Yeah. How are you doing today?" It's like, I'm not here for this. All right. That's no, not what I I'm want. here to game. So, so I feel like Penny is a serious gamer. Dropping the good luck, but that's it. I recognize Old the Z's killer. clan, but I'm not sure why. And that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> yep. I have no idea. Okay, so hang on a sec. We're seeking a nine scout here. I'm not a nine scout. A yeah, pylon scout. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh, whoa. Ooh, All right, Grandpa. Our wings have been liberated. So what I like to do, I like to go to the camera of uh, the subject in question. So like All the right. Meven cam. Get an idea of what's really going through his head. So and he's also, going gas before gate. And then just not building probes. So this is obviously a one base DT rush off of two bases. <laughs> he's rushing carrier, 100%. One mothership rush, maybe? DT mothership for the double cloak? Oh, apparently the other player was random, so... Those dirty okay. random players, right? Okay, yeah, no, I hate that actually. Oh, this that is was a that was him skirmish. zooming in. <laughs> oh, that is it. Oh no! How the okay, tables have turned. Okay, that was almost the play. So now he doesn't even know if there's a pool, which is kind of the point of an early scout. Um. So, oh, okay, I am. He's gonna scout. He's gonna keep scouting. All right, he's he's gonna make sure. That's called diligence. Now he's going building probes, game? not as diligent. But uh... <laughs> now we're seeing that he's building two gateways. The question is, will he use both gateways for production, or is he just making a wall? Okay, that's he's, not a wall. <laughs> he's making something that will eventually <laughs> resemble a wall. <laughs> so here's okay. the classic uh, Diamond Protoss build. It's to remember your game plan after you've already fucked it up. Like it's like, oh yeah, I wanted yes. to go gate expand, but since he lost his probe and his whole plan has gone off the rocker here well at this point he's scouting and he you know was oh. it a 12 pool who knows was it a, a gas but was it was it a pool gas was it gas pool was it hatched first was it pool first he has no idea i mean he knows it wasn't hatched first. oh sentry an interesting of all the choices he could have made that is one of them <laughs> All right. Well, he's going for the. He's what he's doing. He's faking the expo, and he's going to go for a stalker sentry push, popularized by famous Korean GSL player Patience. Yes. Um. Let's see. Okay. He's going to. And less famous actually, player parting. Is that a, that's, that's true? <laughs> is this a wall, or is this going to have two holes on both sides? It really depends on who you ask. Okay. We we got a solid, pretty good. <laughs> we don't know yet. Us. What do you think? Yes or no? Can Lings get through that? Oh, well, <laughs> no, the answer can't. now, yes. We'll never know. He's got pretty good APM for a proto. I mean, for for his 65 <laughs> actions per minute, more than a stopwatch, I might add. Uh, or a pocket watch, more accurately. I like the... This is a classic um, Protoss move. I did this for a while. It's kind of like, I don't want to spend the four minutes to figure out how to wall off like a normal person, so I'll lose mm -hmm. dozens of games every season because I never figured it out. That's yeah. that's a standard Protoss opener. Very scared force field there. Could have used that energy for hallucination, but wanted to make sure the links don't get in. Fair enough, I'd say. Fair enough. I mean, not necessarily the right play, but fair enough. Okay, what do we have coming out here? This is a robo. Okay. And so, queuing up that sentry right as warp gate finishing up. At some point, he will event like <laughs> the amount of time and stress that has gone into whether or not like there's going to be a wall. Just, I, I feel He's like at these links. Yeah. He does deny that scouting. Now I think Zerg doesn't have as much. Uh, he does see speed is done, in. so this is a bold commitment of his two adepts. God, that that giant hole in the wall is is just. I'm I'm panic. He's not even looking at the adepts. Oh. Okay, he's okay, building one out of two probes. This, this is what Neeb would do. Oh yeah. Neeb. Oh, oh so close. close. So okay. close. All right. Okay. Yeah, does he have Zerg. a third base? Who knows? That Zerg definitely nailing it with the spores there. 
You could say, is Zerg going for an all-in? Are they going for third base? No one knows. And does Not it even matter? the Zerg knows. Is this, does the Zerg know? Okay, the Zerg did to go for third base. I'm looking from the Protoss perspective. So. Do you see the wings on the mini-map? Um, I see them. Does he see oh, them? I think. Oh, yep. oh, oh. Oh, the force fields are too good. Just got to be sure. Okay. And now on neither it. side will do anything but see if they can get through this gateway. Meven, if Meven, oh, oh my what god, what a force Meven, field. If Meven just learned to wall off with like one gap and put like a unit there, he would be so good. He would have so many extra force fields and hallucinations. And but stuff. really, is his build viable? Well, you can see that he got the twilight, and what he's going to do with it is go charge and then build stalkers. What he's going to do with it is hang on, he's got to get these batteries here in case there's an attack. What? And he's going to. He's gonna get the gas because you need the gas to do almost anything in the twilight. Yeah, that's so that's we're just true. See where that goes. He's, All right, so okay. um, he's continually just staring at the wall because who knows what might slip through. He didn't get the permits for any more pylons is the problem. So but, I gotta say he hasn't really been supply blocked. Oh, what's that being built? It's a Roche Warren. Okay, two Evo chains. Did he click on it? Uh, he did. I did see him click on it. I like the wide variety of control groups we're seeing. What kind of control? Oh, <laughs> well, you got to make sure you're making probes, man. That's the most important yeah, thing you can be there. doing. Should put it on zero. Okay. Oh, nap. Oh, yep. Oh, that. nope. Okay. Okay. Probe well, escapes. Well, he's made an immortal. That's a really good choice. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh. Okay, he's pushing out here. I mean, to be fair, six minute 20 for an immortal push is like sort of okay. I mean, he's maybe missing maybe 50 supply, but... I mean, what's 50 supply when you already have 69 supply? This is the perfect supply. If he made any more units, it would actually be a mistake. He's reached the Don't local Don't worry, maximum. he can't. <laughs> <laughs> good point, a good point, an excellent point. He's going to take that base? Okay, not bad. All right, so all right. I'm, I'm going to pause here because this is one of my main... Because uh, usually by this point, you can easily see, especially Diamond, there are two types of players. There are players who figured out one build to cheese their way to Diamond and have no plan going forward. And then the players who are doing like a drunken high schooler impression of like an actor or something. Yes. Uh, and, and right here we have the, the drunken middle school impression of like a two-base timing attack into a third. So there's hope yes. is what I'm saying. There's hope. You're right. It actually has a very solid resemblance to something that is an actual strategy. Yes, I will agree with that. So we'll yeah. see how this uh, attack goes. Okay, getting the Templar archives behind it. And the forge, all right, solid, solid, yeah. I mean, he's got all the right buildings, just maybe not at the right time and in the right order. Okay, let's see what these roaches do. He's in a bad oh, spot. Oh, okay, so the roaches zone. all are still shooting. Okay, now his army can't move. This is normal game speed, that's just the slow zone. Okay. Does lose some sentries. Is he going to keep pushing in? That is insane. He is absolutely wild. Good thing, good okay. thing he's going for the blink upgrade for those stalkers he's warping in. Um, that's, yep, that's exactly. Oh, wait, wait. Uh -huh. This immortal can do some work now that he's outside the zone. Uh -huh. The sentry's going to take the shot. Oh, oh my god, that was actually. Give it one for the team. Play. And he did the same thing with the stalkers. In the background, He had, he's floating 700 minerals and 500 gas. Which is impressive because that's like half of what he mines a minute. All right, not bad. Now, if he had waited another 30 seconds, he would have had a warp prism. But if he had waited another 30 seconds, then that Zerg player could have had even more roaches. I, I want to point out, I want to go back, like, because I don't usually look at this. I just want to real quick look at the Zerg player. We're going to look at the Zerg player cam. Because, um, mm -hmm. of course, he's getting his backup spawning pool. Uh, oh, and then canceling it for his lair, oh. <laughs> which is usually yeah. a common problem. Oh, yes, the eight-minute lair, classic. Uh, and now I'm back to the Protoss. All right. uh, Archons and Immortals. Oh, and maybe it's a eventually... good thing he... Hang on. It's a good thing he left a three-square-wide gap. In Otherwise, the they'd so be the trapped. Archons could fit. Yes. Uh, he's just Archon. Like, he's handy capable in this Protoss. In hey, this Protoss out. army is very, very conscientious of the disabled from personal experience. Um, technically, if uh, there's no Ling run-bys, a bigger open 
uh, Wallen is actually better. So this might be a metagame tactic that he's employing here. I like how the Immortal has its own hotkey because nothing else is deserving. <laughs> well, that's why he saved it. You know, he sacrificed that sentry and the, uh, <laughs> and the, the stalker. stalker to save that immortal. That's an important immortal. He's got to check the kills Lord on of that. the Rings level. Like that's. I feel like honestly, he's like pressing one to make some probes, and then he presses three just to check in on how many kills that one has. Which is. Oh. How many it is, is it? eight. Eight. It's a mentor. The Not other bad. ones are just disciples. I gotta say, if he can transfer some of the uh, probes from his main to his third. Uh, it would barely affect his income. <laughs> I was gonna say he should do it, but, he should, but you know he should do it. I, if if for the very first time he may go up to eight gates. Does he have yeah. storm? No, he just has the temple archives. Do you make an archon? So, well, if you have storm, you have to cast storm. That's true. He's probably focused on the force fields. He saw parting play earlier and now, was like, man. Oh yeah, he did warp in more sentries. It's like the Zerg going for the double Hydrodon strats, except one after the other, as opposed to at the same time, to pretend like we're going to get double upgrades. Okay, I'm seeing what uh, Protoss is I don't know scouting. what these pylons are doing. Uh, we got a great pylon efficiency and necessary infrastructure safety rating now. <laughs> really good that. spread here. I can't believe well, he's it's gonna, not Well, he's going to build another Nexus so he can get unsupply blocked. Ah, yes. That's a good move. I gotta say, like right now, so Zerg is just about max. What is Zerg? Oh my god, Zerg has so many resources. Are you gonna make like a trillion lurkers? Oh my god, look how many roaches he has. He just walk in and kill everything. I don't, if those I don't roaches even just... see it, all right? Who knows? Oh my god. I don't, I oh, see they nothing. don't even have speed. He doesn't have roach speed. You don't. <laughs> hey, stop no. cheating. You're cheating. Oh, sorry, I'm going back. I'm going back. Go going back. back. He doesn't know that. They're so slow. <laughs> but they're, they're fast so enough. Slow. Surprise. <laughs> No, just attack move. Don't run away. If only he had the him. money to warp in some more zealots. The glory He's 2.5k, 2k. Oh my god. No, not the Zerg. We're not looking at the Zerg. No, I'm just looking at the first person. Oh, first, are you ready for this first. micro? Oh. Oh, oh, oh yes. come on here. Okay, that's the up. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, you know, this no. is actually going to work. He's going to hold this. Warp in. All right, now's the time to Chrono Immortals to replace the oh, Immortals he that he's going to bring to their death. Immortals oh, are very good units. I like how only the mo Immortal he had hotkeyed was the one he brought behind enemy lines to die. That was sick, though. He's got two forges, too. He's playing PvT. I don't think the amount of forges is really going to define the matchup at this, at this level. Okay, he's still got 20 probes in the main. Hey, at least he built them. He has no, 70 getting... probes total. That's an accomplishment. That's a, that's actually a very good amount of probes. It's just not enough bases. Okay, he's going for the transfer. He's going to actually move all the probes. He okay. maybe should have not taken all. Well, the that's probes. in case the fourth the dies. There. He'll still have minerals in his main. That's right. You got to mine. It's where you got to you got to drop the mules. Add the the vulnerable bases so you can mine your main out later. This is yes. the Protoss version. Okay. Oh, the Nidus is coming up. Okay. Will he see, see it? You he doesn't it? see the fancy <laughs> thing on the mini map like we do. He just sees a little red dot. He not oh the quickest on the camera. God. Not the quickest. No. Nope. Um, uh -oh. Is he gonna see it now? I'm sure he's gonna see it now. Oh, the lurkers are gonna absolutely mess him up. He's got four observers though. Um. Uh. Well, the, of all the things he could do, this is possibly. Also, oh, I think he just recalled to his bat. <laughs> oh no. Also, I don't think recalling to the main was a good idea anyway, so we actually... No, oh, there go the observers. All right. Well. Uh, now... No. I, oh, no, no it's no. all going to Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, don't worry. He found a way. Okay. Okay. No. All right, and he just taps it out. All right. Oh, my God. But I mean, like, isn't it just like really obvious? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how is it like? Oh, I don't know what I did wrong. It's like you yeah, it is really obvious army, that lurkers are a broken unit and should be nerfed. Oh, lurkers no. should unburrow in between each shot and have to the, be reburrowed like a widow mine. It's so true. I've also, you know, the mistake that he made was he should have made a mothership to counter, like, his lurkers are cloaks, right? Because they're burrowed. He should have built a mothership to get his own cloak. And that way, like, you might not be able to shoot the lurkers, but they can't shoot your units. Unless he done. has an overseer like he did. 
No, he could have killed it. He could have feedbacked it, waited for it to regenerate energy ah, again, yes. feedbacked it again, waited for it to regenerate energy again, and feedbacked it again, and it would have died. The best feedback he's going to have is what we've given him here. Let's be honest. All right. All right. Oh, oh. So the summary wow. is, unfortunately, not too many games come down to, like, don't fuck up. But, like, on a scale of fuck ups, this is pretty world class. Like, yeah, it, it was like a slow moving train wreck. You had to make the effort to fly your observer. You tried to recall. We both know you were trying to go to the main. It doesn't work like that. It goes to the closest nexus with energy unless you specifically target one. Yeah. And then I you see the lurkers oh. burrow. They're ripping through the main. You're like, well, if I just get the nidus. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It I mean, was such a it. commitment. It's just everything died. Just like, if you have your units, like, just don't, like, don't let them die like that. You know, just like kill... Try to kill his units and don't let your units get killed, and it would have been you. great. You would have been fine. Words to live by. So what I like to do is I give out a hope score. Um. Yeah. After these matches, so what? What the hope score is? Up until Diamond, it's if you play like fifteen to twenty games a week, which is a pretty decent amount. Not a lot, but enough. If you play fifteen twenty games a week on average, how likely I think you'll move up to the next league in a month. Uh, for Diamond, it's the next tier, because there's a huge MMR gap between each tier. I don't know. Was that tier 3? I think it's tier 3. That's got to be Diamond So a C right? would be like, you're sticking right where you are right now. Anything below that is, I don't even know how you got here. Above it is, okay, there's some hope. So for me, that's a C+. Plus. Uh, assuming uh, Diamond 3. Yeah, I, assuming it's Diamond 3, I give it a C plus as well. Because like, I got to say, like watching the whole game, there's like, okay... There's a lot of things where <laughs> it's like, you know how some people are like, okay, this is like an 8 out of 10, this is an 8 out of 10, but this is a 4 out of 10. To me, this was like a solid, you know, like everything was exactly the level of play. Everything here seemed diamond three, you know? So I don't necessarily know if like fixing the mistake of letting the Nidus come up and like microing that, that would change much. But I got to say- Yeah, he's say, still going like, to lose to that every time. Like at a... I don't know what's going to change that, to be honest. Killing I him think, before it happens would change that. I think, like, it'd be really good, um, like, for Meven. Like, if I were to give some pro tips to Meven, it's, like, be much more aware of your economy and being, like, if you have 20 probes in your main with eight minerals, like, eight for saturation, there's 20 probes, like, you got to just expand, man. Like, you're, you're just, you know, they're just wasting supply being there doing absolutely nothing. And then, like, I think it'd be really helpful if at just some point in the middle of the game, hallucinate two to three Phoenix, fly them through the entire other base, and then see for like the key tech structures, you know? Like maybe he has a Nidus, and then you can leave a couple units in your main so you don't even need to look. And then like, you know, it'll take care of a Nidus. I, I feel like, like we that. are a little in the weeds here though. Uh, yeah. I feel like spend five minutes and learn how to wall off so you're not stressing yourself out that 12 Zerglings are going to run in your base for the first five minutes of the game. And then yeah. once we get past that, we can pretend to play a strategy game like like Mr. Casual is talking about. Yeah, it's also like you look at the, in the natural, like the cyber core, it's like if you move that like two hexes to the right, you have a perfect wall, you know, like uh, or I say a one whole wall. And just okay, put, like, so a, on an average map, in, there. in an average map, a gateway, a cyber core, and another, like two... Two by two buildings, like a gateway or cyber square. You can put three of them in a line, and there should be a gap. Or leave the gap in between the buildings. Even though it doesn't look like it, that's the case on most maps. That's actually the standard used by map makers. Specifically. You, can, you can do it on every single map. Cairo's Junction you ha is a little bit of a smaller gap. For example. Yeah, they have but. smaller gaps, um, but they have no bigger gaps. Oh, you got to dip out of the replay. We're done oh, with sorry. That. I'm just still We're looking done. at it. Okay. It's a disaster. But, yep. Just me even, like, don't lose all your shit to lurkers, dude. Don't Truly, walk away, you no can get through That's diamond. It. Like he had a hundred APM. I've done a hundred APM random to master series, winning like sixty-eight out of seventy games. Oh yeah, that's totally not it. You know, like you. Yeah, can no. Like he had easily... the ideas. You could just put some of those actions that are shitty and make them less shitty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one.